In the case of Apple versus the FBI, Apple says we don't want to create a piece of software that could unlock all of our phones. That could compromise security and it could get into the wrong hands. But what if I told you that the most secure apps out there make their code completely available online for free? Meet Frederick Jacobs, Apple's new intern hire for their core OS security team. He's a critic of Apple's security, an expert in his field, and he thought he could do security better. Jacobs is known for being a developer of an app called Signal. Never heard of Signal? Well, Edward Snowden has, and he calls it his favorite encrypted chat application. But here's the catch. The code is totally open source for this app. I mean, literally, I'm looking at the code for the application right here. But does this actually make an app more secure? You ask a lot of security experts to look at the code and find bugs in there, right? If they can't find bugs, then hopefully it's secure. This checking process, this looking at the code process is much easier for the open source application because it's out there. If it's not popular, look, nobody's gonna look at it, right? I mean, if it's like one random application say that I wrote, uh, which has like two users, nobody's gonna look at it. But if it's really popular, chances are that a lot of security experts will look at it in their free time. So it's like Facebook. It gets its value from the number of people using it and looking at it. The more people who are looking at the code and who are developing the code for this application, the more secure it is. And here's the thing. I looked through the code. The encryption algorithms in Signal are standard and straightforward. So knowing the algorithm has nothing to do with security. The security comes with really long keys generated for each user when the app is used. These keys are so long that it would take a modern day computer over a million years to find one by entering all the combinations. That's the secure part. That's the secret to all encryption. It takes so long to figure out a password that your data is as good as safe. Because who wants your password in a million years? But getting back to Apple, is it feasible for Apple, a company which literally sells code, to make its security code open source? Just because Apple is the corporation or anyone else is a corporation doesn't mean that the code of the cryptography has to be um, private has to be closed source. There's, there's no such requirement. Because remember, most of these algorithms are not proprietary. In the sense, the cryptography underneath is public, right? So by making the cryptography implementation part public, you're not, you're not really leaking out any business secrets. So in the next few years, with Jacob's help, it's feasible that Apple will now be making all of its security code available online for free. And that might actually make our apps even more secure. From Manhattan, this is Shloka Kinney for Reboot New York.